Hi everyone, my name is Monica and this is a very beginner slow moving chair yoga class. So this is great to do for any level really, any time of the day if you just need a, a quick yoga break and you're sitting on a chair or you just don't have access to sitting on the floor. So whenever you're ready you can come to a seated position in a chair. So a couple, a couple things to just set us up right. Make sure your feet are planted on the floor. So what I had to do with this chair is I had to scoot all the way up to the top. Another option could be if you have some blocks or something, you can put the feet on top of blocks so that the entire bottom of the foot is making contact with the floor. And you also don't want to be leaning on the back side of the chair. So make sure you come up forward enough so that you're sitting up straight and you're not being held up by the chair. You're sitting up straight by your own effort. Okay, so whenever you're ready, let's start with our eyes closed and we'll do a little bit of just tuning in a little bit of a meditation. So you can bring your hands to your thighs and close the eyes. We'll also use this as a moment to establish a good posture. Just take a moment here to arrive into your body, into the practice of yoga. Going from whatever you're doing before this, just acknowledging the start of the next 20 minutes or so for this short but very effective yoga practice. The eyelids are gentle, closing the eyes. You feel your sit bones touching the chair, those two bony bones at the bottom of the pelvis. You want to be right on top of the sit bones and feel the sit bones and the weight of the body as it moves down through the sit bones. Feels the chair supports the body, the weight of the whole body. Allow it to support you. And from the pelvis, the spine is growing tall and long, the shoulders over the hips. And allow gravity to relax everything else, the shoulders, the muscles alongside the spine, the lower back, relaxing, softening. And bringing the attention to the breath without changing the breath just yet. Just watching as the breath moves in and out through the nostrils. Observing this pathway as the breath touches the tip of the nose on the inhale and then moves through the nostrils on the exhale, it moves in the opposite direction, out through the nostrils. Just keep observing this process of breathing. Becoming aware of the process of breathing. Noticing the breath moving through us, starting at the nostrils. Notice the pace of the breath. So without changing the breath, count how long the inhales are lasting and how long the exhales are lasting. And just count to yourself. We all have a different pace at any given moment. Count how long your inhales are lasting and how long your exhales are lasting. Take note of that number that each breath reaches. Now let's start to control the breath a little bit. In yoga we want a long steady breath. So we're going to start to lengthen the breath. So whatever number you found with your natural breathing, see if you can move it up just one count. And pick the count that was higher, either the inhale was higher or the exhale was higher. Use that as your base number. And you're going to add a number, add a, a count. And then use that count for both your inhale and your exhale. So for example, if your natural breath was two counts for the inhale or the exhale, now you're going to inhale for three counts and exhale for three counts. So the important thing is 
that we're stretching the breath a little bit beyond our natural breath, controlling it. And we're also matching the length of the inhales to the length of the exhales. So find your number. If you don't have a number, just choose three. Inhale for three counts and exhale for three counts. Doesn't matter how fast or slow you're counting, just that you keep the same pace. Continue observing as the breath moves in and out through the nose. Just now we're controlling the breath a little bit more, lengthening and deepening the breath a little bit more. Good. Now, if you can, take it up another count. So if you're at three, move it up to four counts for each inhale and each exhale. And we're deepening the breath. So you might have to find new spaces to breathe into. Maybe by expanding the rib cage, contracting the rib cage, making the, these breaths as long and full as possible, which also means that when you exhale, you want to completely empty the lungs. So full, complete breaths, fully breathing in and fully breathing out. Go ahead and keep taking it up a count as you're comfortable. So finding the limits of your breath capacity without straining the breath too much. So you don't want to get too uncomfortable and too strained that you feel more stressed by the breathing practice. You want it to somehow soothe the nervous system by lengthening and deepening within your limits. Take a couple more breaths here. Keeping the inhales the same length as the exhales. And after your last exhale, you can gently open the eyes if you haven't already. Good. And we'll try to maintain this breathing pattern throughout the practice. So equal inhales to equal exhales and long steady inhales and exhales. We try to maintain this throughout the entire physical postural practice of yoga. So we'll start with stretching our neck a little bit. We'll exhale the chin down towards the chest and then inhale the left ear towards the left shoulder and then hold it here. Keep breathing in and out through the nose, maintaining that long steady breath as you keep dropping the, knee, the ear down towards the left shoulder, allow gravity to take the head down and allow gravity to bring the right shoulder down, relaxing the right shoulder, creating more space on the side of the neck. Good, find your breath, inhale. Exhale, the chin back towards the chest. Inhale, other side, right ear towards the right shoulder. Good. Relaxing the head, let it fall down to the right. Relaxing both shoulders, creating more space in the side of the neck. Keep pressing down through your sit bones and lengthening through the spine. Inhale. And exhale, chin back down to the chest. And keep going like this at your own pace. You can match it with the breath. You can inhale to the left shoulder, exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, right ear to the right shoulder, exhale, chin to the chest. And just keep going like this at your own pace, matching the movement to the breath. So let the breath set the scene for how we're moving, how slowly we're moving. So we're matching the quality of the breath and the quality of the movement. And if you find a space in the neck that feels a little bit tighter, you can hold it there. You can stop there. Maybe it's halfway or it's like a quarter of the way. Just hold it there, continuing to breathe and seeing if you can find more relaxation, more release through the neck and through the shoulders. And then keep going up whenever you feel ready. Sometimes if we hold a posture in a certain position, the body will start to relax and make space 
and let go of anything that it's holding on to, any tension it's holding on to. Sometimes all it takes is time and stillness and observation. Take a couple more breaths here, following whatever pattern is useful for you. Moving continuously or stopping in spaces that you need a little bit of extra attention. All right, coming back into a neutral position with the neck. Roll the shoulders a little bit, so inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, rolling them back and down. Again, inhale, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears and back and down. Exhale, moving with the breath. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. Inhale, up. Exhale, back and down. Keeping the spine straight, reverse the direction. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Good. And we'll start moving the arms a little bit. So you're going to inhale. Bring the palms forward, facing up. Pinkies towards each other. So we're going to come into an external rotation of the shoulders. This is internal rotation, and this is external rotation, where the palms are facing up, but the pinkies are towards each other. So as you come up, you're going to keep the shoulders moving down the back, palms facing up, and reach the arms over your head. If you find the shoulders will allow you, bring the palms together. If you have that shoulder flexibility, and gaze up towards the thumbs. So they can be separated, they can be together. Exhale as you bring the hand slowly back down. Okay, we're gonna do that a couple more times. Moving slowly, adding that resistance in the movement to stress the muscles just a little bit in a healthy amount so that the muscles work and you start to build strength through the arms by adding that slowness and that resistance in the movement. Okay, inhale, palms facing up. Slowly reach the arms up as you drop the shoulders down and you press down through the sit bones. Arms over your head, palms separated or together if the shoulders allow you. Exhale, slowly bring the arms down as you keep lengthening through the spine. Good. Okay, one more time. Inhale, slowly reaching the arms up bringing the shoulders down the back, arms over your head, shoulder width apart, or palms together. If the palms are coming together, the elbows are coming together. Keep the external rotation in the shoulders and exhale, slowly lowering the arms down back to the side. Good. Now we're gonna add a movement here. Inhale the arms over your head and then exhale, fold over the legs. And then we'll inhale, we'll roll back up through the spine. Okay, inhale, arms over your head, palms facing up, bringing the palms together or apart. And then exhale, reach the arms forward. Try to find a flat back for as long as you can. Once you reach a limit, you can start to round the spine and bring the hands back to the floor. If they touch, relax the neck. So now you're just rounding the spine over the legs. You can hang here for a moment. The palms can be touching or they can just be hanging, dangling. Relaxing the neck. Find your breath. Exhale. Inhale as you roll up through the spine. Press down through the feet and come back up to the neutral spine position. Okay, do that a couple more times. And when you fold forward, Try to fold forward with a straight spine as long as you can and then you'll find a point where you can't because you have limitations in your flexibility or because there's, your body is in the way. Then you'll start to round the spine and relax the spine and the neck down to the forward fold. This time, instead of hanging out on the forward fold, you'll come straight back up. All right, inhale, arms over your head. Pull the lower belly in as you gaze up. Exhale, reach the arms forward, reach the chest forward, spine is straight, 
and then relax over the legs, hands towards the floor, relax the neck. Inhale, press through the feet as you roll up through the spine. The arms and the head are heavy. Bring the shoulders back over the hips. Again, inhale, arms over your head. Deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward with the chest, straight spine. Relax the arms, relax the spine. Let gravity take you down. Inhale, come back up, press through the feet, find the hips, roll through the spine, shoulders over the hips, and hold it there. Good. Now we'll come into some cat cow positions to warm up the spine just a little bit more. So you're gonna bring your hands to your knees, and you're gonna inhale, arch the spine so that you reach the chest forward, and your sit bones are moving back. Exhale, you're gonna round the spine, so you're rounding, you're caving the chest in and you're relaxing the neck. I'm going to do it from the side too, so maybe a side view might be more helpful. Again, inhale as you reach the chest forward, arch the back. And you can use the hands on the knees, push the hands against the knees to really bring that chest forward. And then exhale, round the spine, tucking the tailbone under, bringing the shoulders forward, relaxing the neck. Inhale. Arching the back, exhale, rounding the back, relax the neck, and you're caving the chest in. Inhale, reach the chest forward, arching the back, using your hands on your knees to really push against them and reach the chest forward. Exhale, rounding the spine, relaxing the neck. A couple more times, inhale, moving with the breath, deep breath in, exhale. Inhale, exhale, good. Coming back to a neutral spine, do a little bit of some hip openings, hip stretches. You're gonna grab your right knee and bring the right knee towards the chest as close as you can get the knee towards the chest. Good, and just hold it here for a moment. Kind of start to feel the hip sockets. So you start to feel that femur bone moving around in the hip socket, yeah? So our hip socket has a lot of range of motion. It can go out to the side. It can go in a lot of different directions. Unlike the knee joint only likes to move in two directions, you know, flexion and extension. But the hip joint, we have a lot of possibility. So maybe exploring that a little bit with the knee like that towards your chest. So coming into the center, maybe bringing it out to the side and just feeling it, what's going on in there. Feeling where you have any restrictions where you come up against any walls, where you're like, can't move anymore because you have tension in the, in the muscles. Okay, now you're gonna bring the right ankle, grab the right ankle and just place it on top of the left leg. So yours might look very different from mine. The knee might be up, which is fine, or the knee, the foot might be closer to the knee. Anything is fine, any variation is fine. Closer to the hip, takes you deeper into the hip rotation and the knee further down takes you deeper into the hip rotation. So just find the version that works for you where you feel like you're still stressing the muscles just the right amount, but you're not feeling any pain in the joints. And we'll just hold it here. You can flex the right foot. Just see how far down that knee will go. If you want a deeper stretch, you can also fold forward it's an option, you don't have to. So wherever you are, you're gonna find your position and then find stillness. Just commit to one place. It's not right or wrong, wherever you are. So wherever you are, find the stillness and then find the breath. It's also helpful to find a gazing point, so find something to focus on with the eyes, somewhere to rest the eye's attention so that you can focus on being still and then you can focus on the breath as it moves in and out through the nostrils. I'm just noticing if you've started to create any tension anywhere else in the body, maybe the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders, unnecessary engagements. Relaxing only where necessary to maintain the integrity of this posture. We'll just be here for a little bit longer. Uh, 
finding stillness, finding your gazing points or your dristi points, and then finding stillness. On your next inhale, you're going to bring the knee back to the chest and then straighten out the leg, hold it out into space for a moment, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then exhale, slowly lower it back to the floor. Okay, other side. Bring the left knee to the chest and again, explore the range of motion that the femur bone has in the hip socket and just noticing any points of resistance that you find. And these points of resistance, it's not bad. It's just what we're experiencing in the moment and we just get a moment to observe them. So it's observing any, any resistance, any tension that you feel. And when you're ready, you can come into the pigeon. So bringing the left ankle onto the right leg and adjusting however you need to, either bringing the foot closer to the knee or closer to the hip and allowing the knee to fall wherever it falls. So don't push your knee down because when you do that, then you start taking the rotation into other parts of the body. So if you push it past where it's naturally going, then you will take the rotation into the knee joint, which like we mentioned earlier, the knee joint doesn't like to rotate. So just let the knee fall wherever it falls because where it's falling is the result of how much rotation you have available to you in the hip socket. So wherever you end up, find the stillness, find a gazing point, it can be somewhere on the floor in front of you, and then find the breath, those long steady breaths we established at the beginning of class, call on them again right here in this moment. Matching the length of the inhales, the length of the exhales. As the rest of the body relaxes. And we'll just be here for a little bit longer. Inhale, you're going to bring the knee back to the chest. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Hold it out for just a couple breaths. Hold it. Find a straight spine, shoulders over your hips, and then exhale, bring it down. Good. Okay, we're going to do one last posture, and then I'll give you a moment to lie down for Shavasana. So we're going to do a twisting pose. So you're going to come over to the left, to the, sorry, to the right side of your chest, of your chair, I'm sorry, and swing your legs over to the side. So you're going to be sitting sideways on your chair. And then you're going to grab the back side of your chair and twist the spine. So you're using the back side of the chair as something to push up against and move the chest towards the right. So bring your hands to the top and then moving the chest towards the right, over to the right. And then if it, looks, it feels comfortable on the neck. You can gaze over the right shoulder or just gazing directly over the back of the chair. Good. And we'll just hold it here for a few counts, pulling in the lower belly and using the breath here. So use your inhales to find length by pressing the sit bones down and lengthening up through the crown of the head and the exhales to push the hands against the chair, moving the chest towards the right. Take a couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the shoulders relaxed. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly start to come out of it. Swing your legs over to the other side. Putting your hands on top of the, cha of the chair, of the backrest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, move your chest over to the left. Gazing over the left shoulder or just gazing back over the back of the chair. Inhale. Exhale, feeling the breath, and now it's helping you go deeper into the twist. Inhale, lengthening. 
Exhale, twisting. Good. Keep breathing at your own pace, keeping the shoulders relaxed, keeping the muscles alongside the spine relaxed so that you can find that twist. Good. Take one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly coming out of that. Coming back over to the chair. So if you have a space to lie down on the floor, you can go ahead and do that for Shavasana. If you don't really have a space to lie down on because maybe you're at work or something, I don't know, um, just take a moment sitting in your chair. You can close your eyes again. You can lie down on the back side of your chair this time and just rest here for a moment with the eyes closed and relaxing the whole body. So we'll do the same thing lying down. Closing the eyes, the palms facing up. And now we're going back to a natural breath. You just let the breath be natural as it moves in and out through the nose. Relaxing the whole body. Coming back to that sense of grounding, but now through the entire backside of the body. Feeling the ground support the weight of the body as you completely relax into the mat. If you have some more time, you can stay here longer if you'd like. If you're ready, you can start to take deeper breaths and start to wake up the body, moving the fingers and the toes. You can rock the head side to side. Taking a deep breath in. And exhaling through the mouth. Two more like that, deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. One more, inhale. And exhale. Bring the knees to the chest. Coming over to the right side of the body. And making your way back up to seated. Whenever you're ready, taking your time. Coming back to the chair or just coming to a comfortable seated position on the floor. Bringing your hands to your knees and closing the eyes one last time. And just take a moment here to settle into the body, into the breath, into the quiet space inside. And 
we'll finish with an OM together, bringing the palms together in front of your heart and taking a deep breath in. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for joining me uh, online. If you have any requests for any kind of other videos that you'd like to see, then please let me know and I'd be happy to record something for you.